Hello and welcome to another cheeky upload. I hope you're really well. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe for all sorts of things like hauls and vlogs. And tonight I'm doing kind of a day in the life of a working day because loads of you like what you get at work and you like to kind of see behind the scenes. So that's my plan today. Um, I am off today to Scunthorpe of all places. I'm just getting dressed, I've got my um, my vest on to go underneath my shirt because today I have to wear um, trousers, which I rarely do, so I'll show you my outfit of the day. I got up at six. Um, it's, it's so bizarre. When I don't have to get up at six, everybody gets up at six. When I have to get up at six, everybody slept till seven, so I was like doing that thing where I was like, <gasps> creeping around but this video is in conjunction with mcdonald's and i love that because i've done so much work for mcdonald's and one of my very biggest projects that i did the first ones like years ago was also with mcdonald's so it's a really nice brand you know we popped mcdonald's ever so often when i was little i had a mcdonald's party so i'm gonna go to scunthorpe and we are gonna be going to see how a big mac was made which would be really interesting because a lot of the time you hear all kind of like these rumours and jokes about how McDonald's are made and I will be able to go behind the scenes and show you exactly how a McDonald's is made. So I'm really looking forward to that because Stephen is a huge fan of the Big Mac. You will see behind me the bed is yet to be made. So I'm going to get dressed and I'll show you my outfit and then um, I'll probably talk a little bit about what happens when I go to work with regards to childcare and like school runs and stuff and then we'll get on the train, it's two and a half hours to get there, I have to swap in Sheffield and, um, and then go to the factory. So let me get my, I'm wearing jeans and a shirt. It's kind of like a rock chick chicky rock look so I'll put it on and I'll show you. Okay, I have gone for a kind of lace vest. No, not a lace vest. A lace like blouse with a vest underneath. I've gone for some jeggings and I've gone for some old boots. I've also got my little... So because the boots have got silver bits in, I go for like a silver necklace and silver earrings. But when I get there, because it's a factory, I think I have to take all the jewellery off anyway. So it's just literally for the people on the train. That's all it's for. got all the... Christmas shenanigans going over there. And also, I'm not gonna make my bed. That's one of my little treats to myself when I when I have a working day out of the house. I make Steve make the bed, because I have to make the bed every day, and I'm just like, when I'm at work, you need to make the bed. So, he will be making the bed today. And these are the pathetic things that you do when you've been married for 16 years. Let me know your pathetic things you do with your other half. Right, I'm gonna quickly have a sip of cup of tea from a very festive mug, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna jump in the car and then I'm gonna get to the train station. Um, I like to be early at the train station. Are you an early person? Or are you, like my sister, just get there and jump straight on the train? Let me know in the comments. Right, let's go. I'm on the train, so it's two and a half hours of train journey. So it's a really good time to do some little bits of work. I have got my laptop, which is what you're resting on. Also, I always have on the train. I always have a little, I mean, I've already eaten it, a little muffin snack. And I also bring with me, I always have a notepad. I always have headphones, pens, of course, my favorite pen. I'm just get down and do some work, really. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this morning, Stephen took the kids to school, so Stephen takes the kids to school one day a week, and we usually tie that in with if I have to go and do some work. And then they go to after school club, which they absolutely love. They really love it. So I usually do that at once a week as well when I've got work. So that's the plan today. Right, it's getting very noisy, so I'm going to do some some work and then I will probably see you when we get to Sunny Scunthorpe. I've made it to Sunny Scunthorpe. I've never been to Scunthorpe before. I swapped at Sheffield and I met a lovely subscriber in the train station who chatted to me all about things Florida. So that was nice. So hello if that was you. So we're off to the factory now and then I'm going to get my gear on. 
so you'll be able to see me in my uh, my lovely white outfit um, but yeah lovely journey enjoy my muffin enjoy my hot chocolate um, so I'll see you when we get there I'm here at the factory and I'm with <laughs> I'm so excited. I will leave her Instagram below. Do you have a YouTube channel as well? I do. Yeah, I'll leave I don't really use it. I'm below. But maybe check out Instagram because yeah. you're on there the most. I right? am, yes. And I we've am. had to um, <coughs> try on fashion. Fashion. Hope you enjoyed my fashion show. <laughs> We're going to go around the factory now to look at how um, hamburgers are made. Hamburgers. But I, we had a little talk and I asked a very important question. Why is there no ham in hamburgers? Because there's not meant to be ham in hamburgers. Ham, right, you tell the story. There is not ham in hamburgers because the soldiers during, was it World War II or World War I? During one of the World Wars, took mints to, that doesn't look good, to um, America and they were from Hamburg so they became hamburgers. So all this time in America I've been eating a hamburger thinking it's ham. No, it's not. It's not. Oh. So you learn lots. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna put hats on and stuff as well. we'll oh having hats on yeah. as well. Right, and hair nets the full work so I'll see you in a minute. We've got the full attire on now. Have we ever looked better? We look. I mean, the hat. <laughs> the hat, the coat, the shoes. I thought I looked like um, Elvis, but you disagree. <laughs> Don't see Elvis, right. to be fair. We're going to go in now and we're going to learn about all about the things that you mums out there and non mums want to know about hamburgers and Big Macs. Yes. So let's go. where they're going that they're nice so I'm gonna go and do a little taste test tough life tough job um, you know just taste test and burgers for a living right I'm gonna try them with salt and pepper on now I'm here with Steve who's the commercial director is that right commercial manager commercial manager um, and I'm gonna ask him three questions on the spot imagine I'm a mom I mean, I am a mom, but imagine that I'm a mom and I'm taking Erin Ethan, which is my kids, for a treat for McDonald's. Happy meal. Erin likes cheeseburger, okay? Perfect. What's the three facts we need to know about the burgers? Okay, all the burgers are 100% British and Irish meat. Good. All the meat comes from a farm assured establishment, so okay. like certified by a red tractor, um, etc. Yeah. The last one, this is, gonna be, this is gonna be the best. Absolutely, nothing added, just 100% meat and a pinch of salt or pepper added after cooking. Perfect! So I know lots of you are mums out there or dads or whatever. If you're gonna go and take your little kids for a treat or, you know, if you wanna treat yourself, like me and Harriet, treat, <laughs> treat yourself. yourself. Like you know now that the me and you got a pinch of salt and pepper in. Thank you very much for the tour. I've had a fascinating day and I think when I get home, my husband is gonna try and make his own. Perfect. Big Mac. Yeah, so I'll show you how that goes. Right. Home. It's a couple of days later. Lucy's pootling around and just living her best life. Um, it was really, really interesting going to the McDonald's factory because I am a mom that lets the kids have McDonald's for treat ever so often. Um, they like to have a happy meal, and sometimes Erin does like to go for the burger or the cheeseburger. So it's good to see that the literally the meat comes in. And then, you know, it's mint, and there's no kind of anything added to it. Like, I've seen it with my own eyes, people. I know there's all these rumours going around, what's it about in, in, you know, burgers and stuff, but I've seen it with my own eyes. Um, so, it was really interesting. Also, we got to ask the man loads and loads of questions. So, it was really good. However, we've come back now, and McDonald's have sent a box of all the ingredients to make our very own Big Mac at home to prove that it kind of literally is the beef patty and then all there with the little bits and bobs. So if we have a little look here, beef, we've also got like lettuce, 
got an onion, we've got um, buns, we've got, look, the little McDonald's sauce, we've got some gherkin and we've got some cheese. Now, we know, I am not the chef in the house. We know that it's Stephen is the chef in the house. So Stephen is gonna try and make me a Big Mac at home. Lucy, what do we think about this? She's thrilled and inspired. Um, so Ethan, and I'm gonna, not, Ethan's not making one, Stephen's making one, and I'll do a little taste test. Stephen, are you coming? Yeah. Yes. This is going to be thrilling, I'm excited. So we're gonna make the Big Mac, and then I will see if it tastes like one from McDonald's. And also, Stephen, who is literally the king of Big Macs. Um, if you do go to McDonald's, let me know your order in the comments. I like a chicken sandwich meal with a Sprite Zero. Got little instructions. I think, this is the I think this is the first time we've used the grill in the, with the new oven. Yeah. Um, so that's an exciting thing as well. Because if you remember rightly, the patties are 100% British or, uh, um, or Irish beef. It's minced, um, and then it's put into the patty shape. So, I'm excited. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about the uh, Big Mac sauce on the patty. And you don't like a gherkin. You don't like the dill pickles, do you? But I love a dill pickle, so I shall eat those. How is the master chef going? Ooh, he put the patties on the grill. Ooh, look at the fancy. Um, are you gonna pop those in now then? Yeah. Lovely. Let's put in the sauce on. Can I have the dill pickle? I know you don't like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. I can't wait for this. How long do you reckon it'll be now? In two minutes. Two minutes. Woo. I'll come back and we'll do like a shot of him like cutting it in half. Lovely. Ta-da! Should we cut it in half and try a bit each? Yeah. So that's our Big Mac. Literally, we just did the patty, put all the bits and pieces on compared to that one. And we're gonna cut it in half and do a taste test, which is good, because I'm absolutely famished. Okay, time for the taste test. It tastes like a Big Mac. Oh, still wish you could make these at home all the time. It's so nice. So, what do you think? Thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up. So it just goes to prove that literally it's just all the little bits there in the restaurants, so like the lettuce, the cheese, the sauce, but it's literally just a plain beef patty. That is really nice. Stephen's now tucking into the extra burger that he cooked. That's so nice. Thanks so much to McDonald's for sponsoring this video. It was really interesting to have a little look around the factory. It was fab to see Stephen. I love any videos where Stephen can cook. I'm just watching him now finish off a Big Mac. Any videos with Stephen Cook, I'm like, yes, please. If you need any further information about the kind of burgers, the hamburgers, or the Big Macs, or anything like that, and the meat, have a little look below in the description box. Um, I really enjoyed filming this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the adventure and that you've learned something. Even if it's just that hamburgers, Stephen, are not made of ham. I've told that fact now to about 50 people. My mum and dad were like, what? And we couldn't get over it. So I will see you for another upload soon. Like guys, make sure you subscribe and give this video a little cheeky thumbs up. Bye.